Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Final Hydra and today we're going to be playing another game of Paragon. I don't know why I keep doing this every time I say Paragon, but Paragon. And today we're going to be playing as Richter, this really weird looking guy with some chains, you know, the Chain Warden. Alright, let's level up our abilities. He's kind of, he's kind of like Blitzcrank and not like, uh, you know, not like that. That's fair to say, you know, that he's like Blitzcrank, but, you know, he kind of is like Blitzcrank. Mm, mm, fighter. Yeah, he does energy damage instead of physical with those chains. It's really weird. So let's go for a fighter build. Um, as opposed to a tank build, right? Greater guard, greater guard. I actually know what the cards do now a little bit. You know, I'm not a big dummy. I find that that's a little disconcerting that he's that, you know, from this to this is like a huge step off, but let's go with the fighter build, uh, you know, oh god, I hate this, I hate the fact that when I just get in, that stuff, ooh, wow, I was super slow there, sorry guys, anyway, we're gonna get to lane, uh, real quick now, and pretend like this never happened, woo-wee, Ooh wee would I ever all right so while I'm running I'm gonna open up my abilities here uh, so yeah my basic melee attacks do energy damage which is cool and I do have a pull now similar to blitzcrank I want to see like what's the range pretty far looks like it's pretty far at least all right what's my auto attack range abysmal uh, to say the least Alright, so, well, there goes the first flood. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't want that. Oh, God. I gotta I gotta work on this guy now. Alright, we got that last hit. You know, it's not the worst thing ever. I don't know. It looks like it's far, but it also doesn't look like that was close enough. We gotta kind of test out this ability. Okay. That was obviously not the correct range. Alright, so let's see. Um. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get this. It's a big AOE around me that apparently does electric damage. I'm totally fine with that. Oh man, he's a really slow auto attacker. So if I mess up the the last hit, it's kind of like notify. No, uh, alert. Enemy missing. There we go. I'm being a good teammate. Yeah, like he's got like a really slow auto attack there. Um. Alright, let's try to time this out right. Got... Oh, come on. How did I not get that guy? Got that one. I didn't get that one. Damn it all! Well, don't worry, folks. I'll figure it out one day. <laughs> I gotta I gotta try to get some off more off-camera time in on this game. I At this point, I literally have zero... Actually, that's not, that's not true. I have, like, two off-camera games. Man! Either I'm just really bad at this, or he literally does, like, almost no damage. Okay, I got that. Uh, I guess that means our good buddy Butt-Butt here is back. It looks like... Okay, so the range on it is not infinite. Let's, let's be clear. Yeah, you, you go back to your home over there, you big, you big baby. So what I did there is I tried to get into to melee range with him. I thought that that is, you know, obviously where I would excel at. Um, how did that not get him? It literally went through him. Um, okay, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know the character that well, so who am I to be like, oh, I know, it, it hit him. But it, it certainly looked like it hit his model, but... Maybe not. Maybe Gideon is just extra thin. And my chains just don't hit him sometimes. When I would really like them to. Gotta kind of work on it, you know? That's all it is. You just gotta kind of work on it. And figure out some abilities. Like, I got two first hits there. Or, uh, not first hits, last hits. Oh, I didn't get that one, though. I thought I did. Alright, my R. 
All right, yeah. Now his his ultimate basically like let's see. It's like a big area in front of him ability like I've seen it happen before and it's happened to me that stuns every yeah it basically applies a stun and everybody directly in front of him kind of gets hit it's like a little cone of oh man I'm really I'm really effing up these last hits well I mean Gideon over there isn't really going for any so I mean I guess I guess it's acceptable that I'm not doing it perfectly I got that one I think yeah I think I got that one but apparently last hits in this game are, are the bee's knees and make or break runs, apparently. Or games, I should say. Come on. Oh, that means that there's a man behind me, isn't there? Uh, I saw another guy jump into my... I thought I saw somebody in my lane there. But apparently I, I was incorrect. I thought I saw somebody jump in there with me. That's why I jumped down there. I was like, oh, let's give him time to do some do some work. But I was mistaken. It, it is what it is. But let's see. Definitely take some, some of that. Definitely want some attack speed. Because Richter here has got some pretty slow attack speed. It's all right. The first death, I you know, I die all the time when I play new characters and stuff when I don't know just yet. This guy looks like he should be like a Decepticon. He just doesn't know how to transform yet. Oh, how cool would that be if like you know an Autobot and like you know Transformer like lore is like yeah they grow up as robots and then when they get old enough they know how to tra they learn how to transform. It's like this whole big coming of age ceremony. Like your first transformation, you find out what what you are. Are you a a car or a plane or something? I mean, I know that they can actually choose kind of what they are, but because I like Transformers and I care. Damn it! Man, I don't understand. Like, I hit the model and it, maybe it's just like the range is really bad. I don't know. Maybe the range gets upgraded every time I upgrade it. Maybe that's like uh, my... Wow, this Gideon is pretty good, but he's... Trying to... I, I, I didn't know how to take that, like, the, the... That from him, so... Where the hell did it go? What the hell? Well, that's just mind-numbingly annoying. Damn it! Oh, I hate stealth characters that can instantly stealth. Like, that was dumb. I was in there, I was dealing damage, I had no idea where this dude was, though. Alright, let's try to test this crap out again. Nope. Not that far, definitely not. Pop our potions. Sorry, Gideon, man. I, I really wanted to help you, buddy. I just... Apparently, I'm a big dummy. Oh, this guy again. Yeah, I'll take one of you with me. Wow, he didn't actually get me. So, uh, haha! So that's my ultimate. How cool is that? I just go totally crazy and, uh. Alright, so now I've got even farther range on this ability. Oh, God, I want to stay in lane and pull somebody under this tower so bad. Especially this damn stealth ninja dude who just stealthed and I just watched it happen. Nope, never mind. Yeah, no, he's right there. F it. That's so annoying. I'm just bad at this pull. I just don't know what the the range is on it, I guess. I don't know what units in this game are. Like, like what the, the units for distance are quite yet. Oh, well. F me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa, wowee. Got the three points. Might as well go for the major. 
Oh, man, that sucks. So they do have a Murdoch. I mean, I knew they had a Murdoch. He was in my lane. I killed him. But he got me back. All right, Murdoch. I, I see you back there shooting your global range ult, thinking you're a, a badass and such. Well, I got news for you, buddy. You're, you're a mean jerk, and I'm not a big fan of you. So... Let's just try to get, oh, hell, let's get back to lane and see if we can't fix this situation we're in here. I got two guys in lane, but that's all right. My ultimate hits multiple people, and it seems to do a, a, a fairly large amount of damage if I had to. Uh... Gotcha. Boom, boom. Did I hit him? I think I got that hit. Hey, thanks, Howitzer. That was that was a, a success, if I have to say so myself. That was pretty good. I like it. Wow. Richter's pretty ridiculous on just, like, where his damage can go and how fast he gets there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I was just a fluke. Maybe they just didn't know what to do. But I'll say this. I feel good about it. So I feel really good about that. That was really nice. I feel like I, feel like I was useful in it. I think that's... I feel like that's the main thing, you know what I mean? So let's see. I think I did get that pull too. I mean, so that definitely was close enough. I mean, he was like, I was almost on top of him. So, I mean, like, what does that say? Nothing. Let's get our big Autobot butt back to lane. I'm a little more confident now, which could be a problem. Uh, I do have to kind of remember that, you know, I am a couple deaths in and. While I'm not exactly playing this character exactly as he should be played, you know, I gotta be careful because I just don't want to, don't want to just feed him. All right, so wow, the range on that is pretty far. I must have just been missing it. Let's just pop both our potions. There's no, no reason to not. The power, the power grows. Come in, come into the blue beam of pain. Alright. Uh, alert. Enemy missing. He's mid. Whoops. Should have probably yelled that out sooner, but... I'm real sorry, Howitzer. I hope you're uh, able to deal with that guy. Oh, apparently not. No, he got away, I think. Damn it. So close. Well, you know what? My guy's mid, so you know what that means as a good teammate? We're gonna go mid. I don't know, go mid, push. It doesn't look like we, we could do anything if we go mid. So let's push. Pop this thing, do some AoE damage, maybe that'll help. The name of the game is to get the minions to the turret, right? I want to keep glancing over my shoulder. I don't want Gideon getting the, the drop on me. Not on good old Richter here. I think I'm being told to retreat. Alright, I'm retreating. Nope, that was me. That was totally me again. Man, I'll figure it out one day. This, uh, this pull... I got it in the middle of the heat of combat, so, you know, that's got to say something that I'm not completely bad at it, you know? Oh, what do you think you are, Murdoch? Just taking pop shots at me? Where do you think you're going? Oh, hey there, friend. You know, nobody invited you to this party, you, you little flippy jerk. Come on, guys, that was pretty good. Like, I told Murdoch he can, where he can stuff it, right? I know. I know I'm funny. Let's, let's just upgrade our pull. Why not? All right, let's finish up uh, this card. What does this do? Energy damage and mana. Okay. Uh, this is still early game, right? So we'll buy this card. 
And we don't have any more ability. Wow, that's a five cost card. Holy crap. No, it was a three cost. Oh, and it just automatically grabbed one of the things for us. That's fine, whatever. I really don't like that. Like, if you use a card set that the game, like a predetermined card set, the game seems to kind of lock you into what it wants you to purchase, like, when. I'm not a big fan of that. Like, that's kind of lame. Um, like, it's definitely different than League, and I get it. Like, they were trying something new. But that's really kind of stressful, because I've had games where it's like I couldn't purchase things where I had enough money for them, or, you know, enough amber. And that just feels like crap from, like, a gameplay perspective. It's just like... I think that was my, uh, my Iggy and Scorch run. It, like, I felt like garbage. I couldn't... I was locked out of upgrading my character by a game mechanic that I wasn't even aware of, and, like... Because there was no, uh, description of that. There wasn't, like, oh, if you take this card set you don't get to choose what you're doing anymore like it didn't tell me that on the way in otherwise you know I would just make a card set for every character I was planning on playing so far with Richter I haven't had any problems with that but like if you guys watch that video like I, I hope it was evident the frustration in my voice like this game is in beta but like I don't expect things like that to happen Oh, dodged it all right, all right. Oh, hey there, buddy. Don't shoot me with your gun. That's rude. Now I'm not going to invite you to my birthday party. If I could just dodge him and get, like, right into melee combat, that's always a ball and a half. Gotcha. I don't think I need my ult. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> I like Richter. I kind of like it. Just this big, hulking, Autobot-looking dude just... Just kind of dance back and forth, dodge the the ranged attacks, get right up in their face, and then never let them get away. That's kind of cool. I do enjoy, uh, I've enjoyed this guy so far. I don't know why, I just seem to be doing, uh, you know, even in my off-camera play, I just seem to be a little bit more suited to the melee characters in this game than I am with the ranged characters. I don't know. Uh... You know, that, that's still yet to be determined. I'm nowhere near experienced enough in this game to be like, well, this is just what I'm good at. Uh, you know. Oh, man, I missed my ult. Well, I was going to die literally no matter what it seems, but it would have been nice if I had hit my ult because I kind of feel like I've got, like, this really cool damage potential that I just seem to forget about. And they seem to forget about it, too. So actually, while I'm dead, I'm going to get rid of this Harvester key. It literally is pointless. And it's just taking up a spot that I could use elsewhere later on. And it's just, there's no need for it. We have two Harvesters on the map. Uh, I did look at my map earlier to see if there was something I could do with my Harvester key to see if I could help the team. But I saw both Harvesters up, so there was, like, no real reason for it. Like, the Harvester Key, it's it's useful if everybody kind of has one, but it's also kind of useless if everybody has one. Because once they're set up, there's no need to have the key anymore. Uh, unless, you know, unless our opponents are really counter-jungling and destroying our Harvesters, then I guess it's really good if everybody has one, because then we can work together to get those, those, ta those Harvesters back up. But let's get back in there with our creepy chain robot man. Oh, man, he's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like... I don't want to say Thresh because, you know, it's just Chain War and he's using chains, but he definitely is a little bit more like a like a fighter-style Blitzcrank. Like, he's got the AoE electric uh, ability, he's got the silence on a different... It's kind of like they took all of Blitzcrank's abilities, except for the knockup. Well, I mean, his ultimate does stun, so, I mean, that's kind of a knockup. It's like they took all of Blitzcrank's abilities and then just, like, randomly jumbled them up amongst other abilities. I mean, Richter's really cool. I'm not complaining at all about the character. I hope that doesn't come across that way. I'm actually really having fun as this guy. Not nearly as much fun as I had as with Severog. That guy is still, like, my go-to, like, favorite character because he's just a spooky ring wraith with a hammer. Um, I'm going to get ganked. Like, it's so obvious I'm going to get ganked. I'm also going to get shot in the butt now. Oh, God, I tried. I couldn't move my fat butt out of there fast enough. All right, let's get in there. Bam, bam. Now I'm doing a little bit better on the last hits now that I have some damage and attack speed. Well, I messed up that one, but, you know, you, 
If you hit everyone, it just won't be, it wouldn't be as entertaining, right? You guys wouldn't be as entertained if I didn't just mess up half the time. Ooh, I'm gonna get shot again. Oh, and this guy's gonna be a jerk to me. Oh, he was so much smarter than me. Oh, man, I keep getting ganked by both of them, but I really want to push my lane. So, I think that's actually extremely important is to always make sure you're pressing lane advantage. So, let's see. Mid-game, 10 of 10 for that. That is crazy. That is a crazy step off. Three points, three points, 10. What? Where the hell did that come from? I mean, let's be honest. I'm not going to be... Oh, look, we have some situational items. An allied tower is under attack. I'd really like to actually get this armor because... I don't think I need suggestions right now. I'd like to look at... Like, it's not even telling me what those are called, but I'm not... Like, a lot of the cards have very similar pictures, especially, like, the basic ones. So, it not telling me what that is is really lame. Because I, I just don't know what it is. Like, it could be... I think it's the... The... The Energy Armor Ward? I don't remember exactly what it's called, but that... It's either that, or it's the health and armor ward, or it's, you know, it could be, there's, I think there's four other cards with that same picture. So if it doesn't tell me the name, how am I supposed to know what I'm, what I'm sit situationally buying into there? I definitely do want to pick up a little bit of health here as Richter. Because um, as a fighter, I know, like, their late game suggested item is the health one. But I kind of need some, like, now, I feel. I figured I'd give it a shot. I wasn't really sure on the, uh... Are we just going in? We're just going in for it. Oh, man. That guy tore us up. Well, we got the tower. It's... A double kill is not really worth a tower grab. I mean, we got the tower plus one of their guys out of the two. But I think had my ultimate landed and I got that stun off of, like, I don't know, the second earlier... We might have been able to get a secondary guy in there, but it is what it is. So let's see. We've upgraded all that stuff. Like, let's see. Cards that help you counter stuff. You don't have enough card power. What happens if I toggle suggestions? Does that mean... Okay, that makes it all go away. Okay, so now I can do whatever I want, right? It shows me all the items. Okay. So those items down there, the triple one is the Magnus Ward. Yeah, that's the energy damage mana... Or the tuner barrier. Okay, energy, armor, and health. I think we're going to go for the health and physical armor when I have the money for it. Or the, the amber for it. Because I think they have a little bit more guys doing some physical damage than they do energy. Like, I know... I know for a fact that uh, good old Murdoch there, the guy with the global range ultimate, his thing is energy damage. So, you know, we'll counter him a little bit with that. But I... And Gideon also has energy damage. Hmm. Kind of... Kind of got to look at it situationally and figure out who's the problem. Dragging him right into the ultimate there. I thought that was a pretty good play. Where am I taking all this damage from? Oh my god, Gideon. I hate you, Gideon. Trying to help my team out as best I can there. Oh, well, I got the stun on Gideon. And it looks like, yeah, they got the kill. So, hey, you know, I was instrumental in two kills there for our team. I'm not going to complain at all. That was helpful. Because really all I am is the big tanky fighter guy. Um, so, it's understandable if I can just go in and, you know... If I can get some kills for us and die, who cares? Because... I fed the team the way I need to. So I'm actually going to go for the health. Because if I could just be a little more... This will give me more damage, which I don't think I need right now. I definitely think I need some... I think I'm going to go with the tuner barrier. Energy armor it up. Um, and grab some more energy armor. Because, like, right there, I was just taking... I, You know, I didn't even see Gideon behind me, honestly. Because when he does his ult, he kind of lifts off the ground. He does that hover effect. I had no idea where he was, and I was, like, looking for the source of my... Where I was taking that damage from, and I just couldn't friggin' find him. But... 
So the fight there, the breakdown of what happened, I, I is is best from my ability to see it, was Howitzer came in from the side, uh, from the right there, on the three mid laners, took a lot of damage and got scared, so he ultimated. When Howitzer ultimates, he jumps up in the air, so he's untargetable then. Um, from there, he started dealing his rain of rocket damage. Um, so I went in and did the pull on, I think his name is Steel, that other character, to drag him back into the ultimate. Now, Steel is also a fighter, so, I mean, he was already in there. I wanted to keep him in there. So that's where we got that first kill out, and then we did help them kill Gideon with the stun. So we were definitely helpful. But then we, you know, we died. It is what it is. Can only help so much. I'm gonna upgrade my. Ooh, no, we don't want to do our pull just yet. <laughs> I don't need to pull that minion that's literally already in front of me. So we're on. We're kind of all by ourselves out here. Oh, looks like a big team fight left lane, of course. Whole other side of the map. Let me skedaddle on over there. Ooh. Ooh. What's more important? What's my damage look like? Let me take out this harvester while they set up for that team fight. Because this thing is full too, so if I take it out, it's going to rob their team of some a lot of EXP, potentially some more amber. So let me just get rid of this, being the super good guy I am. And my team looks like they kind of won that team fight right lane, or left lane, excuse me. So they didn't need me. So... I, you know, I would say that I actually did the the better the better ability there. I went and I stopped them from gaining extra amber, which is you know half the battle. That's the whole reason you poke in lane. I mean, yeah, the whole hope is to get a kill, but the actual logic behind it is if you can poke somebody low enough so that they'll go out of lane, they're not getting exp anymore or amber as this game calls it. Um, and that there, that's how you win games. Actually, it's like yeah, you can definitely snowball with kills. But just blocking your opponent from getting those those amber points from being in lane, I think like that's actually enough to win games all by itself. So once again, we're gonna be pushed a little forward here, but two of their guys are dead. They're probably gonna come right towards me though, and there's two of them mid. So they've got one guy on the map that I don't know where he is right now. Yep, and here they come. So let's back it up, because I don't—I'm not looking to fight right now, especially with so many people being unknown entities on the map. I don't know where they are. Let's just back out for safety, and let's go mid, and maybe we can get a pull, and we can help get some kills there, or we could just take their blue buff, or I could just take their blue buff. I mean, that's always good too. Let's take their blue buff, and then not kill the final minion. Because that's what I do. Alright, so I'll take that. I don't kill the final minion, so it won't respawn. Oh man, they need some help mid. I don't know if I'll actually be able to help, but I'm going to go in anyway. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. There's a lot of them. Hey guys, I'm suddenly out here with no teammates, so this is, you know... Awkward. Damn. Damn, bam, whamba jam. Alright, so now I'm kind of solo mid, and there's, I think, four of them. Not looking for it. Uh, Gideon. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna ping it twice. I don't want to be really annoying, but Gideon is. If their team is literally doing anything right now, because they're all off the map. They're either going for that that stupid powerful monster in the jungle, or they're ganking our Gideon. And they ganked Gideon. Like, it was pretty obvious that that was where they were going to go with that. Like, what else would they be doing? That's why I pinged for him. Oh well, he wanted to hang out, and he really wanted to push that turret. Did he actually get the turret? No. Nope, missed on the pull. Happens. Especially with how mobile some of the characters can get, like when they're sprinting, quote unquote. All right, Howitzer, don't go too crazy. Oh no, he's going, he's going full blown. Damn it, damn it! I'm really bad on these pulls. 
Howitzer, I think, is going to get the kill no matter what. Let's just stand here and support him. Good job, Howitzer. I helped you almost not, not at all. Other than maybe doing some damage when he charged me before and just making you have to auto-attack him one time less. But, you know, I was here for you, buddy. I was here. I am your the wind beneath your wings. Not really that important, but kind of important. Because I'm also this big meat shield for him, especially when Grux up there thinks he's going to be cute in a minute and come forward. I really want to play as Grux. I've been looking at that character. He looks like a lot of fun. Look at that. We still have some health potions from earlier. Might as well use them, right? We are going to get ganked. Almost guaranteed. They have nobody on the map except for these guys. Alright, let's get the hell back in there. I don't know how that didn't hit him. Like, I literally timed it out for where he was gonna land, and got... I got him, I thought I did. Oofala, whoa, whoa! Where did all that damage come from? That tower did so much! Wowee! Woohoo! Wowee! Oh man, we are... we actually have nine points. I'm like, really close to this thing. Um, what's more important, leveling up other stuff or getting that really expensive, maybe useful thing? I don't know. That's hard. That's a really hard sh Well, now we have enough, so we might as well get it. You know, when stuff like that happens, it's just like, oh, well, you know, bind my hands, why don't you? Oh, and I think this guy here is playing with the new Gideon skin that just came out. It actually looks really cool. I do like that you can unlock skins in this game simply by playing. You don't need to... I mean, I guess you could spend money. The option is there, but you can just play and get skins as well. And I think that's really cool. Because you don't really see that a whole lot. Usually you only see um, skins coming, you know, for the, the pay-to-play the pay -to -play people. Cosmetic things are normally, you know, you pay X amount of dollars, you can look cool. It's, it's just a, it's a nice change of pace, I would say, for a a game, especially a MOBA, to be like, alright, let's hand out some cosmetic items, you know, just for time invested sometimes. That's really nice. I mean, Dota kind of does that as well, but, like, Dota's is so random. It's, it's actually painful to play Dota 2, and, like, when you get stuff for characters, it's like, God, I hate that champion, I'm never gonna play as them. This, you can at least, you get points, and you can then just, you know, spend your points on the skin that you want. Like, if you want a 500-point Gideon skin, that's where you're going to put your points. Alright, let's get into lane. Let's get, oop, went the wrong way. Alright, come on, let's get in there. Oh, man. I hate Gideon. What a slippery fish that character is. With that dumb ultimate, it's not even his ultimate, but that dumb ability where he can just boop away whenever he wants. I mean, it's not really whenever he wants. Hey, buddy, I don't want you leaving. We got the whole party planned, and you're invited. Take that. Can I hit Gideon while he's doing this? Doesn't look like it. Alright, my goal right now is just bob and weave to not get hit by this Murdoch ult. Because he's going to do it. It's going to happen. So I'm just going to kind of run in different directions. Like, it's a coming. I, if I was him, I would do it. God. I'm, I'm so afraid to stand still. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to back. I think I'm, I think I'm good. If he hits me with it right now, folks, it's... It's it's time for sadness, like, cause I I'll be really upset about it. But I have no oh points to spend. I do get to level up. Cool. Let's get back in there. What ally tower is under attack? None of them. The game just lied to me. So right there. Now I was trying to attack Gideon while he was ulting. I don't know if it's possible or not possible. I have to kind of remember my character does have a a, a shorter ranged auto attack than than a ranged champion, so um, maybe if I was a ranged champion, I would be able to hit him? I don't know. Um, I'd be really interested to find that out, though, in the future. 
So if I see Gideon alt again, I know to go in and do what I got gotta do. Nah, don't leave, buddy. I really don't want you to go anywhere, because I hate you, you stupid, stupid stealth ninja. I re really hope that Rampage is coming to help me. Ooh, did you see that ult? He just missed it. You know what? I, be I bet he's super sour about it. I would be. Gotcha. Get the hell out of here. I'm really enjoying Richter right now. Wow, look at that Gideon go. He uh, he wanted to do some damage, and I'm going to run the hell away like a big coward. Not like a big coward, you know. I've got, like, low health. Oh, I have two health potions. Let me use those, because I never remember to use them. Anyway, I also have that thing that gives me lifesteal, so maybe, maybe I'm going to be super cool, and I'm going to go in... And I missed on that, so I whiffed that pretty hard. Come on, buddy. Can, if you can land that stun, we can make we can make some lemonade here. Not with two of them here. Not going in on two. Forget that. Hey, Rampage, turn around, buddy. Nope, he doesn't want to listen. He's about to be cruising for a bruising. I can't help him. Oh, God, three of them? Yeah. Come on. Come on, you fat, dumb Autobot. Run faster. Get the hell out of town. Forget that, man. That was crazy. I wasn't gonna... I feel bad about abandoning him, but I'm not gonna go in like that. And we're taking out their inhibitor, but they're still trying to just push a turret. If I was these guys, I would collapse backwards and try to save our damn... Or not our, but their damn base. I mean, come on, dude. All right, let's discard this mana, this mana thingy, thingamajig. This thingamajig right here. Crit bonus, energy damage, and crit chance. I mean, they're saying that this is what I want, so... All right, let's go for it. We'll upgrade that as we go. Screw it. Oh, man, let's get, let's get back to lane. I spend a, I, I am definitely guilty of spending a little bit too much time looking at, you know, cards. Sorry, I'm kind of like that noob in the League of Legends store. Like, I just don't know sometimes. Hoo-wee, I am... I'm not, like, throwing damage like a carry, but I am no pushover, folks. I'm, I'm coming in like a wrecking ball. God, that song is stuck in my head now. Get some EXP for the team. I helped out. I came in like a wrecking ball. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna run up and hook them. Dun, dun, dun. Bam! Get out of here! Ooh, gonna get you in the face. Alright, he's, he's actually at a full sprint. Wow, almost got it, Rampage. That was a pretty good throw. Keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. I'm going in. I want that kill! I want it! Now take it from him! Yes! Worth. Kind of. I think that's worth. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know what happened there. I heard something going beep, beep, beep. Take out their damn harvester. Counter jungling at its finest, folks. Bam! Whipping it up. Whip it. Why am I not hitting it? Whip it good. Now, of course, I have full health, but not a lot of mana. And I just got rid of the mana potion, so... I mean, I've got half. I'm, I'm decent. I'm definitely decent. Richter came in like a wrecking ball. He really hated you, so he hit you in the face with his whip chain. Did that kill all by myself. Bam, bam. 
God, I'm, I'm really having fun as Richter. Probably, probably too much. Like, it might be criminal at this point. I like him as this gigantic, scary dominatrix spot that just kind of, like, shows up and is like, hey. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight two of them, though. I'm not going to be having that kind of fun. <laughs> I'm just going to jog on here. Excuse me. Excuse me as I F right the hell off. Uh, I'm going to go back to base. I got some points to spend. We'll get some more mana. I'll come back and I'll wreck both. Now, if I had full mana, I might have gone in against both of them. Because, you know, I'm pretty ridiculous when it comes to these games. And I feel like I'm a pretty awesome guy. You spend points. I don't have any more points. Yeah, they're spent. Let's go. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm smarter than everybody else on the sun. So, I just kind of run in. I'm like, man, if I just if I just circle left, they'll miss all their auto attacks. And then I'll I'll just ultimate with my E. And I'll just, I'll just lay the smack down like they've never been smacked before. Macho man Shane Savage over here. I'm going in... Get over here. I'm like the robot scorpion. This has been a 41 minute game. Holy Toledo. I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel like a 41 minute game though. I've been having a very, uh, a really cool time with it. So, oh look at these two guys down there trying to, trying to fight that Orb Prime guy I think. So you know what we're gonna do is this awesome guy Richter here. Oh man, I went in a little hard. I thought that the Orb Prime guy was gonna help me, but he didn't. He was like, hey. I don't like you either, and I'm like, no, we could be friends, and he was like, you're right, and I was like, damn it, but hey, oh, did they kill it? They have the orb, but I mean, Howitzer's right up on this guy, Howitzer, use your thrusters, he doesn't have thrusters, I'm just kidding, but he looks like he should, there, thrusters, go, see, I, I was kidding, but I wasn't, oh, uh, Howitzer, you're literally walking into like a, a gank, like, you can see it, I can see it, everyone here sees it. Just let him have the orb. He'll never be able to cap it. Like, ever. Please don't just kill yourself, Howitzer. I mean, that is pretty funny that... Whoa! How did he get him? I didn't know Howitzer was targetable while doing his ult. Like, damn. Have a little bit of my... My liquid sustenance there. A.K.A. black coffee. Because I'm not a human being anymore. I've replaced most of my blood with coffee, and if I just keep drinking it, I could live forever, right? That's that's how it works. I mean, geez, that's how uh, I think. I think that's how Steve Buscemi's alive at this point. He doesn't look like he's alive, but he is apparently. I've been told. Let's get in there. I, I'm just kidding. I actually really like Steve Buscemi. I hope everyone's not like, oh man, this guy hates Steve Buscemi. Nah, Steve Buscemi is a great actor and I love seeing him in movies because it's just like you see Steve Buscemi you know what you're getting you're getting a well that's not true either he's a very dynamic actor in some ways um, but I just like having him in movies he's always a riot to see um, like you guys remember the movie The Island that like nobody cared about and only I probably went to go see when it was in theaters Steve Buscemi was in that movie believe it or not little known fact he was one of the main plot points of that movie so if you're a big Steve Buscemi fan and you have not seen the island, listen, I just handed you a gem worth investigating. Wow, I just walked into a wall. I hope half the team didn't see that. More than likely they did. Now, I'm feeling Randy and thinking I can do it, but I also know that they've probably got that weird stealth ninja character that I don't know what to do with just yet. Like, right on top of me, I'm guessing. Oh, and half my team is dead, so there's literally no help coming. So let's back it up. Let's slow our roll. Ow. That was rude. Hey, buddy. Don't run away. What's up, Gideon? Yeah, you run away too, buddy. 
So I hope everybody saw how awesome that play was, because let's be honest, I'll probably... Oh, crap. That's not nice. Almost got him. I didn't know that he had that red orb. I didn't even see that drop. I thought that was like amber that I wasn't picking up. Whoopsie. Oh, well. It's on Gideon. Who cares? I'll kill Gideon when he comes up here. When he stops being a little babby, I'll kill him too. Kill them all, man. I can't stop this Richter. I'm on a roll. I will not be told to stop. I'm going to pop my health potion. What? Oh, well, I misclicked there. I tried to hit my health potion. Instead, I used my pull on the ground. What's up? Got out of that. Alright, what you got? Come on, big guy. You want to be the big dog? What you got? You ain't got... You ain't gonna get me. Come in here after me. What are you gonna do? You're gonna try to walk in after me? Go for it. I don't care. Yeah, that guy did go back, so I'm not gonna get him either. Um, I'm fine with it. Here, I'll just back right here. Taunt the hell out of him. Look at me. I'll even put my hooks in the ground. You can't stop me. You're just a Gideon. Alright. I mean, Gideon is a, is a really powerful character if played correctly. And I'm sure he's just having a, a rough game, honestly. So, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, he's no good. Like, that's just dumb. Like, I've had bad games. And then I've had, like, games like this where I'm, like, snowballing. Like, what's my KD right now? Probably terrible. Um, I think I'm 9-9, nine and nine, but I've also, like, thrown myself in there a whole lot. But I've gotten a lot of assists for the team. You know, I am the tank, basically, kind of. Not really. That's really Rampage. Uh, but I'm, like, right behind him on, like, where I am up for the team, like, tank roll. Am I useful? Hey, Gideon, uh, you seem to have broken one of my towers there. I wasn't a big fan of it, so. Kill him. Kill that dummy. That's what you get, Gideon. How's that feel? Oh, see, he even forgot that orb, too. I don't care. If that stupid dumb assassin wanted to come over here and play the uh, play a game with me, he would have been really, really upset about himself because I would have effed him up real quick. That, that makes me feel really good that the weird stealth ninja, I'm not afraid of him no more. Like, in the beginning of the game, he was like, he was tearing me up. And did I get that kill, or did I... No, Gideon definitely got that kill. I was... Or, I wasn't Gideon, but whoever that guy was, who was really helpful. I didn't need him, but it was... It's always nice to have a teammate there, you know, just in case. Like, I definitely have enough power to take Gideon on by myself. Alright, we're gonna go mid. We're gonna go try to F up Murdoch's day. I would really like it if we could push for the win at some point, you know, today. Alright, Murdoch was mid lane. Let's see, is he just retreating back up the mid? No, he disappeared into the jungle. Um, don't really know. Alright, he went into the jungle to take out our harvester, so now I'm going to go look for him. Got you both. Get out of here. Tony Danza smacking them downtown. I got you for three minutes in the Thunderdome. Rah! Yeah, I'm really having fun with this guy. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize for nothing other than my, my own... Inability to stop being this awesome. Alright, so I'm pretty much decked to the nines right now. I don't know if I can upgrade him any further. Um, all I know is I just had a ball in there. That was awesome. Ulted them both. Took out who I wanted. I'm positive on my KD ratio. Oh, I'm positive by a lot. Woo! Alright, 11 and 9. Let's do it.
Coming in like a wrecking bot. I'm gonna autobot it up, you know, if like autobots came out with wrecking ball instead of, you know, humans. Came in like a wrecking bot. I don't know the words to this song other than that damn line of the chorus right there. I know, like, at some point, it's like, didn't want to start a war, just wanted to let you in, I think. I don't know. Hey, you want to come be my friend? Totally unnecessary for us both to ult him. I wanted to anyway. Sometimes you just want to do things, you know? I'm dead. Like, damn. I got kind of... I didn't realize how much I was in the turrets range. That's totally my B, but we got that kill. Um, I'm alright with it. Dude, this... We have a, we have a creepy ninja too, and our creepy ninja is 11 and 3. That's really weird how much better our creepy ninja is. How much is their creepy ninja? He has to be positive. 5 and 6. You know where he got those 5 kills? My dumb butt early game, because I was really lame about it. At this point, should we get rid of the tuner barrier and get stuff that'll help us more on the damage front? I don't think so. I think we're at a happy middle ground right now. I think we're we're doing all right. We just need to, I think, push as a team. I wish there was a way for me to... Ooh, wow, their creepy ninja just effed us up. All right, there's no reason... I'm going to tell everybody, let's group push mid when we are all up. Got it. So, there we go. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to coordinate with these guys. Let's see what we can do. 52 minute game. Holy crap, Ola. This has just been... This has just been problematically long. This may or may not have been the longest game I have ever played. I, I hope everyone watching has at least been entertained. I've had some good plays, I feel, you know. I think that like, that's half the battle of watching this game is like, is the person playing making good choices? Is he helping his team out? I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Tony Danza coming in from down. Oh, crap. I got him. Don't worry. Oh, I'm real sorry you had to ult, but I understand why he ulted. Like, it was to get him out of, like, death. Death area. Take the blue buff. I'm doing so much damage right now. Alright, let's call for the mid push. Are we all up? No. Creepy Ninja. Creepy Ninja is kind of our carry right now, so let's wait on that. Uh, might as well just do some farming for the rest of the team, right? Like, I've gotten all my points, I think, that I can. Huh. We just, we're going in. We're going in like a wrecking ball. I'm really sorry. I just can't stop at this point. Like, I started and it's just, it's happening. So I can apparently pull Gideon out of his ult with my ult. How interesting. Damn, I was waiting for him to try to do that portal crap, and so that's why, see my, I'm sorry, I don't think I ever actually explained my, uh, my right click. My right click does a little bit of extra damage on my next auto attack and silences. It applies a silence and a negative 80 movement speed slow, which I guess negative 80 is good, like it sounds pretty good. I'm just going in. I need, like, the rest of the team to do some stuff. Oof. Hey, buddy. 
Hey, buddy. Like, I wasn't gonna get away. Like, that was not happening. But it is what it is. Did we, we got the inhibitor? Alright, then I didn't die for nothing. Um, you know what I really want to see? Like, this thing is giving me lifesteal, right? I'm not really getting a lot out of it. I'm trying to think. Ooh. That's so weird that the touch of thieves is in there. Now, I might be a big idiot, but I'm going to now try and discard this item. It gives me 10 points back. Oh, man. All right, so let's go for the Hand of the Prophet. Energy penetration, and it still gives me the 300 health. That just sounds better to me. Like, I, like the life steal seems almost useless to me. I don't know. And if I don't like it, we'll go back. I love Rampage. What a great character. Like, he's a lot of fun to play. Alrighty. I think this is it, folks. We're pushing them. Like, I think this has been a fairly close game. Like, yeah, it's been a close game. It's not bad at all. We're just coming out on, on the top. Which I'm totally fine with, because I don't want to come out on the bottom. <laughs> Let's see how our new energy penetration. Now, it's basically like all of our auto attacks do energy damage, and everything else does energy damage, so... Why not get some energy penetration to go, if any of those guys have, like, any energy, uh, if they have any kind of energy resistance, then we're going to blow right through it. I'm, I'm thinking 133 sounds like a lot to me. No more for you. That silence, man. I'm I'm really just assuming that that silence is half the uh, is half the battle right there. Wow! I'll give it to him, man. That was pretty good. He got me. He got me on that bait, so I missed the pull. He definitely did. Really? Silence! Silence! Get over here. Get the hell out of my face. Get over here now. Go away. Like, that's that's what I did right there. That's what I feel like I did. Bam. Ultimate. Boom. I got a kill with that. That's, that's crazy. Dude, this guy was awesome. Definitely going to play as Richter more. I had a lot of fun. But I guess, you know, you could also say that if things weren't going well, I'd be like, wow, Richter sucks. Bam. Look at this creepy skeleton, dude. He's got like a skeletal face. He's just a he's just a mean mamma jamma. Let's just see what we got, folks, at the end of this game. But thank you very much. If anybody stuck around for the entire video, you, you are my hero. Weekly quest, alright. Ooh. Got some reputation. Get that. We got ooh, we got a chest. We got some coins. See these this is what I'm talking about. Like right here, coins are the currency for skin, so they like give you oh we got a card pack. Nice, I love getting stuff. Tribute, click the random reward. This tribute can contain reputation card okay. Open. We got a boost. Nice. I think that there we go. Alrighty, folks. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Final Hydra. We've been playing Paragon, and we've been playing as Victor. Or Richter, excuse me. I saw Victory, and I just assumed Victory for Victor. Um, but thank you very much. If you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you like this content, please subscribe so you can see more of it as it comes out. And don't forget, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.